Hey y'all, welcome to Thrilled Thrifter. My name is Julie, and today we are going to be thrift shopping my local Joseph House thrift store. As usual, I will have my thrift haul all throughout the video and show you how I styled a couple of them. But at the end of the video, I also have a little thrift flip and the giveaway winners to the Hobby Lobby gift cards. so crowded in there i did not get a lot of good footage i apologize y'all they they either need to like slack up on, on the donations or try to find a bigger place i know their funds are probably tight and they're doing the best they can but man you i mean i could barely move around in there it is it's crazy but anyway i'm, I'm gonna quit complaining about you know small things that are really not even things all right let me show you what i got and spoiler alert she don't like it. Why do I even try to buy a teenager clothes? I don't. And every now and then I'm like, oh, that looks like something she would really like. And then I get it home and she's like, mom, what made you think that I would want to wear something like that? So anyway, now I got to try to find somebody to give this to, but I bought this shirt for Elizabeth because I thought that it was pretty and I thought that she might could wear this for Christmas with some jeans and some boots or something. Or, you know, like with something under it. I don't know. I thought that it was precious. It was $2.99. And here's the brand that it was. I don't, like, I don't know what that is or anything. But it's just a little long sleeve button up shirt. And I thought that it was precious. I wish it was in my size. But yeah, no, she don't like it. So anyway, got that. Okay, y'all, so I carried that print around in my buggy until I got ready to leave. But y'all, it had the biggest water stain on it. If it did not have that water stain on it, I would have purchased it. It was priced at, I think they had $5.99 on it. And I would, have, I would have paid that in a heartbeat if I could have got past that big water stain. But it was just way too obvious. And so I did decide to leave that picture even though I loved it so, so much. But I just did not love that water stain on it. adorable and at first I did not catch on that it was Christmas so I got this 50% off awesome. this beautiful little print y'all look at this little bunny 
And the reason that I'm, I'm trying to get up here where I can see without having my light in it, but look, it has all of this Christmas behind it. But look at him, y'all. And I wanted something Christmassy to go in our guest bathroom above the toilet that had black. And so I was super excited to find this and it was only, let's see, it was $4.99 and then it was half off of that. So I only paid $2.50 and this, I see this kind of print in a lot of primitive decor. And so I loved it. The black is gonna look really good in there since I've been doing some black accents. And I love it. And he's just adorable, y'all. He is so cute. He looks like he just does not have a care in the world. I wanna be that rabbit right now. Yes, I have a friend who has, her whole house is nothing but true primitive. Y'all have to do a tour of her house. It is amazing. She has a whole room made up just like um, Anne of Green Gables, y'all. I fell in love when I went over there. But anyway, I'm gonna put this in my bathroom and show you guys where I'm talking about that I put it. So don't overlook the bunnies at Christmas time, apparently, because this one is a Christmas picture. Okay, y'all, so I got super excited when I saw this little pattern here. I thought that this was a ticking stripe apron, but upon further investigation, I believe that this is like a little thing moms wear, or moms wear, moms wear around their chest and it goes around their back to carry their baby in. But anyway, I was super excited thinking that that was an apron and it is not.
So who else loves to go check the book section at all of the thrift stores they go into? I absolutely love checking out the book section for cookbooks, how-to books, just any kind of books that I can use even in my decor. I love checking out all of the books at a thrift store. look at these precious like this package is coming apart but i've got two boxes of these and their christmas was 50 percent off by the way which was great i don't know if they just had an abundance of it but i'm still filming in no this is still november when i'm filming this it may not be november when you see it but it's uh 50 percent off and i was kind of impressed that they already had their christmas 50 percent off but so i only paid 50 cents for this box and it is like the what do you call these? Like the velvety kind of, let me get one out. It's like these really pretty little velvet top balls. And um, they had some little ones mixed in there. And look at the, look up here. You don't see that very often. So I got this box full here. And then I got this box full here. I only paid a dollar for both of those. And I have my wire chicken up here. Well, here, let me just take it down that I've been wanting to put. I got this, it's the space above my bar, and I'll show you here at the end what it looks like all put together. But, so I wanted to take some little red ornaments and just fill this, because I thought that this would be pretty up there. All right, let me fill, let me fill it on up. I mean, they had another box you might've saw in the video, but a lot of it was like, I don't know, just like, tap, ooh, what was that flying out there? Okay, just piece of paper. <laughs> Scared me there for a second. So anyway, I'm gonna take the hook. A couple, some of them had little hooks, so I'm just gonna take those off because I don't really want them to have the hooks on them up here. Ooh, look how pretty, y'all! I like that. I wish I had more to fill it up, but it kind of looks like egg, but it's ornaments. So anyway, I got dust flying everywhere now. But anyway, let me put this up here real quick above my bar, and I'll show y'all where I styled it. Okay, y'all, so those are the only three items that I ended up purchasing on this day. But how many of y'all remember the barn doily that I got at Salvation Army? I needed to reframe it because it had kind of messed up. But when I took it down to redo it, I thought, you know what? I'm going to actually make me a little Christmas picture for the Christmas season, and then I can put the doily back in that frame. So I took an old sack that I had from last year at... Um, Dollar General and I cut off I took the back out of the picture frame and I cut around the part of that canvas bag that I wanted to use in the frame and just used pencil to kind of go around and you won't see that and I just cut it out to fit the frame I'm going to save that back because I might need to use that for something else but y'all this turns out so cute this picture ends up in our homeschool room and it just gives a fun little feeling in there with that big old Santa face on it. So you can use gift bags, you can use, you know, um, fabric bags like this. You can do all kind of things to make yourself some DIY home decor for Christmas. Okay, y'all. So the first winner is Mary Dossett. I hope that I'm saying that correctly. But anyway, you are the first $25 winner to a Hobby Lobby gift card. So please comment down below and leave me your contact information, just an email address. Don't leave like your phone number, your address or anything like that down in the comment, just leave an email. Or if you have Instagram, 
leave me your Instagram handle and I will contact you to get an address to mail this out to. We do not want your business all on YouTube. So just leave an email or an Instagram handle name down below and I will contact you. Now let's see who wins the second Hobby Lobby gift card. Sherry. All right, it says, what a great thrifted haul. Just love watching your channel. Thank you. I am thankful for my family. I have had some surgeries over the past few years, and without my husband and my kids, I never would have made it through. I am blessed to have such a great family. Julie, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your beautiful family. God bless. Oh, thank you so much, Sherry. And I'm super, super excited that you won the second $25 Hobby Lobby gift card. So again, leave your, leave your comment down below with some way that I can reach you either by email or an Instagram handle name. Do not leave your address or your phone number, please. Just an email or an Instagram way that I can message you, please. All right, so on to winner number three. Let me just, I'm doing this just so that y'all can see. I'm not picking who I want. I'm just picking random names, but they have to have followed the rules. You had to have something in your comment about something that you're thankful for. And then I'm stopping and pausing and making sure that you actually are subscribed to my channel because that was just one of the rules. So now let's pick winner number three. Oh, so blessed. She comments all the time, and I recognize her comments all the time. So thank you so much. So blessed. And her comment says, Hi, Julie. I have so much to be thankful for, but the biggest blessing of all is my husband, my children, and myself have given our life to Jesus. Amen, sister. That is the best gift any of us can receive, isn't it? How wonderful knowing when Jesus returns, my family and I will be in heaven. I will say a prayer for your sister-in-law. You have a very good heart, Julie. God bless you and your family. Oh, thank you so much. That's so very sweet. And I love your thankful comment. So again, comment down below with some way that I can reach you either by email or an Instagram handle name. And thank you again so much. All right, let's see who won this last Hobby Lobby gift card. Rhonda Flanders. Hi, Julie. Oh, have mercy. That pie looks good. I have to say I am very blessed and thankful for my family and my church family. When you picked up that shutter, I thought by putting a back on it, I'll bet it would make a great Christmas card holder. That's an awesome idea for a shutter. Thank you for that. By the way, what's a porch without a rocker or a swing? That's unheard of in my family. Laugh out loud. God bless you and have a happy, I mean, excuse me, and have a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Rhonda, and we did have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I missed you guys so much last Friday, but sometimes you just need to stop and slow down and focus on your family, so that's what I did. We had a lot of doctor appointments, and we threw in some fun things um, along with that, so I am super excited for all of the winners. Again, don't forget, Rhonda, to comment down below with either your email or an Instagram handle name that I can message you on so that I can get all of these out in the mail so that you guys can either go get you some Christmas decor or you can buy some Christmas gifts for someone. Each gift card is worth $25 and I'm super excited for the four winners. I appreciate you all so, so much. Your sweet comments meant the world to me and we were so busy. I did not get a chance to comment back to anybody on that video. I am so behind on comments. I apologize. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's thrift shopping trip. I hope that you guys had a good time and congratulations to all of our winners. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with your information, your email or your Instagram handle so that I can reach you to get those mailed out. And also you guys, my Christmas home tour is coming up and I had a question for you. Do you guys prefer the home tour just with background music or would you prefer me walking around and kind of talking you through the home tour? I didn't ask this last year. I just kind of did it to music. But I just thought that I would get your input and see what y'all liked. So let me know down below how you prefer to see home tours. Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for coming along with us. We love y'all. And we will see you really soon with a brand new video.